fish lovers and small animal lovers. A to do <laughs> Wow, I can't talk. Today's video is going to be a huge pet haul. And this pet haul is uh, more for the rats. Um, it is supposed to be a cage theme, so you'll see a video of that soon. And the stuff I did get for the fish are already in the fish tank, so you'll see a video of that too. Um, so I got a lot of stuff for the rats cage uh, for Halloween. And I'm just going to start off by saying, um, sorry if my voice is weird. I have like the biggest cold ever. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, um, a little disclaimer, the, my theme for the cage was supposed to be black and purple, but, um, my aunt actually bought me, uh, some fleece that will go with a different, uh, color scheme, so I did start off by going with black and purple, but then it just switched, so it's a little funky now. <laughs> So, um, the first thing that I got, I'm going to start off with the boring stuff. The first thing that I got was, oh, now my phone is not, oh, oh it's not my phone, it's my camera. Uh, the first thing I got was this purple bowl with a black spider and white spider web. Um, it is a ceramic bowl. I got this from the dollar store for $2, and I'm going to probably use this one for veggies. The next thing that I got along those same lines was this cute little black cat bowl. Um, it is the same one as the other one, it's ceramic, and it has a cute little black cat. And this one's going to be for their pellets. Again, that was $2 at the dollar store. And then I got this um, fabric. It's orange with silver polka dots on it. And it's a very thin fabric. I was going to use this for hammocks, um, but I only had enough to make one hammock. So I made this nice hammock, and there will be a video on how I made this soon. I put little buttons on there. So it's a uh, brown fleece. It's a very soft fleece on the inside. And then the orange and silver polka dots on the outside with some orange buttons. And my rats are not chewers, so, well, they don't chew plastic, so they won't be chewing the buttons on that. But that was the first fabric that I got. The second is just this orange fabric, which is going to line their cage. It's going to line their um, small levels in their cage, and I'm going to put a uh, fleece underneath it so that it will be more comfy and not just this uh, thin fleece or fin <laughs> flint. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. This thin <laughs> uh, fabric that um, won't be very warm because it is really cold now. And then I got um, three fleece, three black brown fleece blankets. Uh, this one's a little off color, it's like a kind of greenish. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is. Um, but it's like so soft. I just want to cuddle with it. But yeah, I got some brown fleece, which my aunt actually bought, so that's where that came from. So the color scheme is going to be orange and brown. And sorry if you could hear one of the rats drinking in the background. And now on to chew toys. Um, I did get uh, some toys from Bobby's Bunny Boutique, which is going to be kind of soon. <laughs> so, I got these little cats. Uh, they're just wood cats um, with gold string on them, which I'm going to cut off. Um, they get chew it and all that. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I kind of painted two uh, green and black uh, with pet safe paint. I think this is soy based paint, uh, soybean. I'll insert a picture because I don't have it right now. But I left some um, unpainted just if I want to put these in the cage when it's not Halloween. <laughs> and the next thing was this um, little coffin. I painted it black and orange. 
with your pet safe paint and you can open it and it's a little cute coffin that's gonna put like some treats in there or something and I got the cats from the dollar store and I got this from the dollar store and then I just painted it um, so they could chew that if they want to um, the next thing that I got I have to reach behind me geez, was these nature balls and it looks like this is like corn husk uh, wrapped around I think this is willow and this is a seagrass I think um, but it's by wear um, it's three pack of nature balls uh, three times the fun all enrolled into one uh, so I was going to get the trio fun balls from Bobby's Bunny Boutique but th those were like nine dollars which I thought was crazy and they didn't have anything fun in them like this one the first one has a bell in it um, this one has peanuts in it which I might not give to the rats um, and then this one has like a wicker ball in it I don't know if you can see that so I thought it was much more um, worth the price and this was cheaper actually it was uh, six dollars I think so six dollars versus nine dollars of course I'm gonna get this I got this from pet value which I don't usually go to but they have a lot of cute things which I'm going to go back and get some uh, more because they have the naturals theme like no one in Canada has that um, so on to Bobby's Bunny Boutique um, Oh, now I'm making a lot of noise. So I got this box. Hello, box. And the first thing I put out is this Bart Rosewood, Rosewood Border Breaker Edible Treat and Gnaw Logs. Uh, stimulating fun for rabbits, guinea pigs, and chinchillas. And that's just what it looks like. You could hook it on. It has some holes with some treats in it. And there's on the top too. There's nothing on the bottom. And then turn around and it says edible treat in all logs. Our edible wooden logs is filled with your pet's favorite grains, carrots, and dried apple. But getting to the filling won't be easy, as they will have to gnaw through the peanut flavored wood and alfalfa mixture per first. Perfect for enriching your pet's environment and growing not growing <laughs> and wearing growing teeth. Um so my rats don't get treats very often. Uh, they hardly get them at all actually. And, um, so this is going to be pretty fun to see them chew, um, but I don't think I'll be keeping this in their cage for very long because it does have alfalfa, and alfalfa isn't very good for rats, so I'll have to, uh, just, sorry about all this noise, jeez, so I'll have to watch them with this, um, but other than that, I think they'll really enjoy that. The next thing that I got was this really big thing, like, it's like larger than my hand. Um, it's the Born Breaker Lufa Toss and Treat Roller, stimulating fun for rabbits, guinea pigs, rats, and ferrets. Natural Lufa uh, and corn leaf toy stimulates challenges and entertains. And then over here, it says, Made from natural loofah and corn leaf our roll what? <laughs> Made from natural loofah and corn leaf. Our roller is ideal for pets to play with and chew. You can even place a few of your pet's favorite treats inside the roller, which will be randomly dispensed as pets play. We recommend you protect this toy from prolonged expo exposure to rain and standing water. Supervising younger or smaller pets. Pets is recommended with this toy made with pet safe materials and glue. So I was expecting this to be like half the size of this, um, but it does have like really big holes. Um, so you could put your pet's treats in it and they could roll and dispense the treats. But also, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, but it goes all the way through as like a little like, tunnel. And my rats are small enough to go through the, this tunnel. Um, I like that it's alfalfa, uh, not alfalfa, but <laughs> I like that it's loofah so that they could chew it and have like a, I don't think they've ever had loofah, so it's going to be interesting to watch. 
and I know that they really love this corn leaf stuff. Um, they love to shred that. So I think that they're gonna have fun with that one. With that toy. And then the next thing I got, which I thought was super cute, and everyone has this. Whoever has like um, small animals has this. And it's the Boredom Breaker Corny the Owl. It's so cute. It's a little wonky, but um, my rats will like destroy this. They'll love this so much. Um, so it's Rose. It's by Rosewood. It's Corny the Owl. Um, so. He may be cute, but all your pet will want to do is toss and chew this natural corn leaf owl. Rabbits especially love to throw no smaller or lighter toys nibbling on corn leaf like hay also helps for growing teeth. Corny is made from natural corn leaf and edible papers. As with many pet toys, he's also made with a small amount of non-toxic pet to save glue. So I thought that was really cute. Like look at him. And Autumn is like full of owls, <laughs> especially like corn leaf. So yeah, uh, that concludes my pet haul. If you like the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye. My next video will be a cage tour, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyways, uh, that concludes the video. And uh, bye, I guess.